Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Point Spread, Magic Hefty Favorite in Home Opener vs. Brooklyn Nets Fresh off an impressive road win in Miami to start the season, the Orlando Magic have their home opener on Friday night against the Brooklyn Nets at the Kia Center. The Nets, who are in rebuild mode, lost their opener 120-116 in Atlanta on Wednesday night, but covered as a 7.5-point underdog. They might have more trouble Friday night against the Magic, who are 11.5-point underdogs according to the Hard Rock Bet Gambling website. The over-under is 215.5 This is the first of four meetings between the two teams this season, all before the end of the year. They play consecutive games in Brooklyn on November 29th and December 1st and meet up again on Orlando on December 29th. They went 2-2 a year ago, with the home team winning all four games and covering in all four. Here's everything you need to know about the point spread, plus a good history against the number for both teams. The two teams defended their home courts last year, with the Nets winning big twice in Brooklyn and the Magic returning the favor in Orlando. Here's how the four games went a year ago, November 14, 2023 in Brooklyn, the Magic lost to the Nets 124-104 on the road as a 2.5-point underdog and did not cover. The game, 228, went over the 218.5 total. Brooklyn outscored Orlando 36-18 in the fourth quarter to blow the game open. Franz Wagner led the Magic with 21 points. December 2, 2023 in Brooklyn, the Magic lost to the Nets 129-101 on the road as a 2.5-point underdog and did not cover. The game, 230, went over the 222.5 total. Cole Anthony and Franz Wagner led the Magic with 20 points apiece, but they struggled again in the fourth quarter, getting outscored 31-16. February 27, 2024 in Orlando, the Magic beat the Nets 108-81 at home as a 6.5-point favorite and covered. The game, 189, went under the 210.5 total. Franz Wagner led the Magic with 21 points, and his brother Mo Wagner had 16 off the bench. The 81 points were the fewest allowed by the Magic all season. March 13, 2024 in Orlando, the Magic beat the Nets 114-106 at home as a 6.5-point favorite and covered to even the series at 2-2 the game, 220, went over the 205.5 total. Paolo Banchero was nearly perfect on the night. He was 6-4-6 from the field and 8-4-9 from the line for 21 points. He also had 9 assists. We'll keep track of the Magic and their opponents so you know where to stand when it comes to wagering on the game. Here's what Orlando has done against the spread so far this season. Eric Spolstra calls out Miami Heat players for one reason. The Miami Heat made a bad start to the 2024-25 season, losing 116-97 against the Orlando Magic in a one-sided contest. The organization has shown a lot of trust in this roster, not making any significant changes over the summer. This kind of performance will worry the fans though. Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler, the Heat's two superstars, combined for 12 points on the night. Nobody managed more than 20. The Heat left a lot to be desired on the defensive end of the floor as well, not doing things which should be bread and butter for this group of players. Head coach Eric Spolster was pretty blunt in his assessment of the performance while speaking to the media after the game against the Magic. He said, the activity level wasn't there. You don't need stats to see it, like you can feel it when we're active. It might not lead to steals, but, yeah, what we felt in the last two, three weeks, we didn't feel that tonight. The Heat had shown a ton of promise in preseason, and it felt like this team was ready to exceed expectations once again. The performance in their season opener was not up to scratch though. The Heat did well to keep it close in the first half and were just four points down going into the break. 
The Magic simply blew them away after the break though, going on a 12-0 run to start of the third quarter and the Heat never really recovered from that. They did manage to outscore the Magic in the fourth quarter but by then, it was a little too late to get anything out of the game or even make it close. There has been so much talk about Heat culture over the years. Something that is not quantifiable but has allowed the organization to outperform expectations on a consistent basis. That was the key ingredient missing in the season opener against the Magic. Jimmy Butler's contract year got off to a terrible start and NBA fans let him have it. Jimmy Butler entered the 2024 NBA season with high expectations, setting a serious tone for the Miami Heat in what many consider the most crucial year of his tenure with the team. However, the season opener against the Orlando Magic didn't go as planned, as Butler had one of the worst performances of his career, finishing with a brutal stat line of three points, four rebounds, and five assists while shooting 12.5% from the field. Butler's keycard to the Heat training facility has been temporarily deactivated for routine maintenance, an NBA Satire X account posted Wednesday night after Butler finished with a plus or minus 30 box score. There were plenty more where that came from. The disappointing start for Butler came on the heels of an offseason filled with unresolved contract negotiations and tension between him and team president Pat Riley. Butler's infamous playoff trolling of the New York Knicks and Boston Celtics last year left a bad taste in Riley's mouth, further complicating their relationship. Trade rumors have circled Butler, and with no contract extension in place, this season might be his final opportunity to solidify his future with the Heat. Despite Butler's struggles, the game was competitive through the first half, with Orlando holding a narrow four-point lead going into the third quarter. However, the Heat's offense crumbled, as they missed 14 straight field goals and dug themselves into a hole they couldn't escape. Paolo Banchero led the Magic with an impressive 33 points, while Franz Wagner contributed 23 points in just as many minutes. The Magic's duo overwhelmed Miami, whose offensive execution faltered badly. Head coach Eric Spolstra acknowledged the team's struggles post-game, saying, they just absolutely overwhelmed us. Offensively, we have to trust some of the things we've been working on, we just didn't match what they had. The good news for Butler and the Heat is that the season is just beginning. With 81 more games to play, they have plenty of time to turn things around, starting with a matchup against the young Charlotte Hornets next. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Jimmy Butler? Leave your opinion in the comments.